Consider this as an upgrade of my best Linux certification associate level from 2022 and 2023. And this is also a continuation of do not follow this outdated IT certification roadmap. From this video, I just simply reacted and agreed on most of the discussion and shared knowledge by Asa Busharif. And uh, one of the things that I mentioned and recommended is to go learn Linux first. Go learn Linux before you go to cloud, before you go to DevOps, and before going for security or cybersecurity career. And how about networking? Well, networking or CCNA level knowledge is also good, but we've already talked about this. And if you missed the discussion, kindly watch this video. So now in this video, we will talk about the best Linux certification that you should take. And it's not just about taking it. This video can also help you strategize your career. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video, Dean, from Ghana, Madagascar, Estonia. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. Like from Chennai, Kentucky, Rustenburg, etc. <laughs> Before we begin, take note that all of these five certifications are beginner, entry, associate, or admin level. Not all of these certifications has the same difficulty level. Not all of these has the same price. And that's what we're going to talk about and highlight. All right, so fifth spot is LPIC1 or Linux Professional Institute 1. It covers Linux architecture, file system, shell scripting, network and security fundamentals, etc. For an associate or admin level certification that requires two exams, uh -uh, I'm not really a big fan. And for the difficulty level, I will give this um, 3 out of 5 star. It can be 2.5, but since it requires two exams, I will give it 3 out of 5. The exam cost for both LPIC 1 Okay, 101 and LPIC 1 102 exams are 200 US dollars. So total of 400 USD. Each exams are 60 questions, written type. Now let's talk about the advantages, pros. Okay, so this is a five year validity. And this is actually longer than most certifications. This certification is renewed after passing a higher level exams. This certification is also popular and well recognized. LPI, this organization, is already 25 years old. Let's talk about the disadvantage, cons. Again, two separate exams to attain the cert, not good for me. Now, with the same certification organization, you may continue with LPIC 2, then LPIC 3. And for LPIC 3, we have four different tracks. We have LPIC 3 Mixed Environment, LPIC 3 Security, LPIC 3, Virtualization and Containerization, and the last rack is HA and Storage Clusters. Now, the final verdict. I will not take this certification, regardless of my plan or my career plan and strategy. If my plan is to become a hardcore Linux system administrator, no. DevOps, Docker and Kubernetes engineer, no. Cloud engineer, uh-uh. Cybersecurity, Hell no. Next, or the fourth spot, this is Linux Foundation Certified IT Associate or LFCA from Linux Foundation. Probably the easiest Linux certification out there. It covers basic and generic Linux commands, Linux system administration, cloud computing fundamentals, security, DevOps tools, etc. Now I will give this a difficulty level of two out of five star but it can be a little less than that. Let's skip two out of five, shall we? Now, the exam cost is 250 US dollars without discount yet. You know, Linux Foundation, this organization, usually give discount price during holiday season. And uh, this exam, it's a 60 question written type. Now, let's move to advantages, pros. Again, if you want an easy and affordable Linux certification, go for this one. How about the disadvantages or the cons? Okay, so this certification is not quite popular 
and it expires after three years and it doesn't renew even after passing a higher level exams. Now, with the same certification organization, this Linux Foundation, you may continue with these certifications. We have Linux Foundation Certified Linux Administrator or LFCS. We also have Certified Kubernetes Application Developer or CKAD or CCAD. What else? We have CKA, a certification that I also have. CKA stands for Certified Kubernetes Administrator. And lastly, we have CKS, uh, Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. It's supposed to be CKSS, right? Anyway, here's the final verdict. I would go for the certification if I want to complete a Linux certification fast, then straight to a specialization. You see, part of your certification journey is to consider the time and effort for every certification you take. So if I'm new to the industry, I will go for the certification, LFCA. Then I'll go for CCAD next, then CKA, then maybe CKS. It depends on my situation. I will not take the certification if I want to become a, a hardcore Linux administrator. I wouldn't go for this path, LFCA, then LFCS. Nope. All right, so fourth and fifth spot, these are not priority, so let's move this to. Let's focus now on the top three. So in our third spot, this is Red Hat Certified System Administrator, or RHCSA. This is the most difficult Linux exam certification in our list. It, it is also a vendor-specific certification. Topic includes Linux essential commands, storage management, networking, security, automation, troubleshooting, etc. I will give this the highest difficulty level in our list. I will give this four out of five star. The exam cost is 400 US dollars and it's a three hour hands-on lab exam. How about the pros, the advantage? Well, this certification is well recognized. And since this is the most challenging associate and admin level certification, this means you will learn a lot and improve your Linux skills better. For the disadvantage or the cons, the preparation time passing the certification will take longer than any other Linux admin or associate level certification. Now with the same certification organization, Red Hat, you may continue with RHCE or Red Hat Certified Engineer and or RHCA. Red Hot Certified Architect. Final verdict. Um, though RHCSA is a great certification, it will take you more time and effort completing the certification than other admin or associate level Linux certs. RHCSA and RHCE are not my ideal certification combo. RHCSA, RHCE, and RHCA are also not my ideal certification trio. I would only recommend you to go for the certification if you want to be a hardcore Red Hat Linux administrator or engineer. Yeah, the certification then take RHCE. Now, some of you would say RHCSA is the best and it should be the number one. Well, if your goal is to be a hardcore Linux administrator, Yes, I agree with you, but I am more concerned of the long-term goal. You see, if I will go for RHCSA, this may take three to four months preparation. I will rather go for LFCA, one month preparation, than two months for CCAD. Pricing of these two certifications would cost almost the same with RHCSA, with discount of course. I only put RHCSA on third rank because having a vendor-specific certification has a huge advantage as your certification has more value with VAR or resellers. And you have a higher chance of working directly with a vendor like Red Hat. RHCSA is also non-expiring certification. Again, it's not my first choice.